Welcome back my gardening friends. Uh, it's time to get the onions in and the garlic. These, uh, this garlic was from uh, Mike Herdis and uh, I probably won't eat a lot depending on how much I get but that will build my stocks up. The uh, couple of um, uh, cloves that he actually sent so I've broken those up and I'll be putting the bigger ones at the back, smaller ones to the front and we've also got the red onions and I'll get them in. So I'll place them out, I'm not going to space them too closely, I've got plenty of room. So I've got them all out, just check to see if there's any soft ones. There's one a little bit soft, but the rest are uh, pretty good. So the garlic will be buried uh, to within an inch. I'm not counting this compost covering, that's about an inch or two. And uh, we'll uh, make sure that the red onions are just showing, only just. Birds can't get, them, get at them in here, so they'll be safe. So I'll make a start on the garlic. The tablet's been playing up again on the last video, it uh, it did uh, cut off. Just below, below the surface, not counting this compost. breaking the top just so that those shoots can get out and hopefully that will stay weed free for now and uh, I'll just switch off a minute so I'm just moving on to the uh, red onions now you may be able to see that but I'm basically going back down to the soil level just going to leave the top showing and eventually I should just get the, so, uh, the, the compost that I've put on top and just shape it down <coughs> acting as a mulch and let the worms pull them down as we said there's no birds in here to worry about So that's how I'm planting my red onions at the moment. I'll get the rest put in. So I've got the red onions in and in actual fact it's uh, filled this bed up nicely on this side. Now I haven't had red onions this side um, before. And uh, basically because the ground was so soft I just moved the compost to one side and made a little hole and popped it in and sealed them up. As the onions grow the rain will just wash that compost around it. So we've got plenty of room on this side for those uh, other onions that we've got. I'll be uh, putting those onto tissue paper and getting them going with the other onions that I've got for the giants. And that'll be another video. Moving on to seed saving off the uh, runner beans. Uh, I'm just going to uh, see if I can read one of these labels to see what uh, this first row is. So to make it easy for myself, I'll put French beans here and then the different variety there. Now this variety on that side is start scarlet so I'm going to pick a few uh, pods off ready for drying. I've picked the beans from the far side so they don't get mixed up with the next variety and all I really need is six beans off each um, variety and there's about 14 to 16 in there. So we had six uh, bean seeds that are one for Liberty the variety. This one's going to be a bit easier because we've already got, got some that have really dried out nicely so we'll get those picked. So that's the Liberty collecting. The uh, green fly on this uh, firestorm is unbelievable. There's still some beans uh, to be picked so I think I'll uh, give them a good picking once I've selected the ones. So firestorm and now in their separate box. And the last but not least are the uh, Benchmaster. Now I'm not going to collect any off here because I've got loads of Benchmaster uh, in, a, in a container. So no, uh, no point in trying to save anything. And 
we've got loads of pods that have already dried out. <laughs> Here we That's uh, another firestorm. So Uh, those are the French beans, and I was really low on those, so what I normally do if they go over, I'll just drop them on the floor. If the mice don't get them, I have them. So we'll be saving some the uh, French beans as well. Always good and productive. So that's the bit of seed saving done for the uh, three, four, five varieties. I've uh, picked a nice uh, harvest of uh, beans and <clears throat> just as a, a tip yeah that looks like a lovely long bean but you know it's too stringy that one ain't too bad it's fine you won't get too many issues with that and just a quickie update on my arm it's just drying out now nicely a little bit tight but I'm just putting a little bit of cream on to soften it up Please be aware of parsnip, carrot, celery tops. That's what it does to you if you do get a reaction like I did. I can now uh, clear this plot right up to the celery. Make my mind up if the celery is, go celery is going to stay or go. And then I can get uh, this manure on, get some cardboard on and then let the worms do all the work. I won't be digging this because this is where the brassicas are, brassicas are going. I've been told before to add the lime just before we plant the brassicas so the manure goes on first let the worms do the work add lime accordingly now I did tell you a fib I said that the brassicas this year were club root free uh -uh. no it developed quite quickly and that's why the cage is missing quite a few brassicas as they just didn't do very well especially the cauliflowers happy gardening to you all till next time my friends Hurrah for now. And that's a crop I didn't think I'd get. I'm all for this successional sowing.